you're not going to do the meeting like you did with well, the, that I, sweet boy, well, Char Charlie. Guy. Charlie's cool as you like, or whatever he's called. Yeah, yeah. Charlie is so cool. So, so like cool or cool, cool like or whatever. Yeah. He's good, and it's so simple. Have you seen his YouTube? Yeah, channel, but I, I, yeah, I was someone uh, sent me the, it some weeks ago, and, um, and I thought this is really odd because what's so good is that there's nothing. He's not trying too hard. No, he's no, actually. That's what it is. He's got the secret of all great comedians, Absolutely. which is he's likable. Yeah, yeah. He's likable, and he's just, you know, he's not straining at it. No. And so you go, oh, and of course he's. He's not cute exactly, but he's got those amazing big blue eyes that yeah. just make you think, oh, bless, yeah. you know. Because the one I loved was the naked one. Did you see where he's just, he's got yes, no shirt no. on and his mum comes in. That's so What's funny. What's she doing? His mother's very funny. Isn't well. she? She's great. No, because yeah. when I did that, I hadn't seen the ones with his mum. His mum's great. No, she's very lovely. It genuinely is a, a, a teenage boy. Yeah, yeah. If you were saying you've got a 15-year-old, he's about yeah. yeah, yeah, so he's... That's who, he, told, he said, you know... That's his constituency. You'd never get Charlie is so cool, like, he's too cool for you, you know. <laughs> That was the big challenge. Well, it's great that his generation like him then, isn't it? Yes. Is he quite public school? He seems, no, he's I don't not, think so, no. No, because I was trying to work out whether... I, I mean, I'm not In that awful English certain. way. But yes. I thought, no, is this like sort of... Is he like maybe Godolphin and Latimer sort of thing? You know, sort of like Hugh <laughs> yeah. Grant was. Who yes. just sort of... Because he's got, he's got no regional accent, but no. nor has he got an Essex estuary. No, but thing. I mean, he's from Bath. Bath. And, oh, uh, and, uh, and I think yeah. it's... He certainly doesn't speak... Uh, he West certainly country. didn't give me that... No. thing. I mean, I've become hypersensitive to that with my... Why is that still No, it's just that I'm sound. Is your boy at private school then? For a while. Right. And my daughter is now. And do they enjoy it? She does. He didn't. He didn't. <laughs> Where was he? Which one? Cheltenham College. Oh, right. Cheltenham College Junior. I hope you showed him if... No, he still hasn't seen it, but he. But that, I mean, that there. was shot yeah, at. The, well, that was yeah. shot at the, uh, the school. The, the main school. Yeah. yeah. So there, there's a Boys, small. I understand you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> One of the great moments of cinema. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Uh, had, I think, a rather disruptive influence to my own education, seeing that. Yes, I think it did. I felt from all of ours. <laughs> I mean, yes. we, almost everyone I knew, uh, who was at a public school, said, "Yeah, but apparently I shot at Chumber, but apparently it was based at and yes, yes, you know, yeah, yeah. Marlborough. You know, we all thought it was our school. So yeah. I because I worked out that when I was driving over this morning that I did first meet you. You probably won't even remember in 1983, I think, <gasps> at the Drill Hall. Oh yes, when you you were there we with were you rehearsing. and Ben Elton. That's right. And you were rehearsing. We were rehearsing. I was in a group called the Joeys. We're in the Joeys. Yeah. And we met very briefly in the cafeteria and said hi and didn't, yeah. you know. And I think oh. I probably, you, we've probably been in 15 Edinburgh I'm parties sure together, we which I can't, I can't remember, but. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it is quite shocking. And we were rehearsing on different floors yes. in North Acton. Oh, well, well, no, we were next to you. Yeah. We were right next door oh, to yes. you on the last series of Blackadder. That's right. So we were in the next door room. So you were. Yeah, I remember because I knew Craig a bit. And right. I, and obviously I sort of bumped into. Uh, um, Chris Barry. Yeah. yeah. And I, I remember also for Blackadder, we were often in the studio next to David Jason and Nick Minter. That's right, they were there. That's right. Yeah, I forgot about that. Only, yeah. only fools and the horses. Yeah. And, and of course, we, we always thought, God, they, everyone loves that show. It's really good and successful. And then, of course, when I got to know Nick, he was, he was the most lugubrious person on the planet. He was, we always thought your show was really <laughs> interesting. <laughs> it's funny how humans yes. are so. Isn't it? Isn't it? Aren't we? I mean, yeah. I don't know. I've tried to, in my latter years, you know, release some of my insecurities and neurosis about. <laughs> yes. Well, the, the, the best conversation I ever had was with a bunch of grumpy old gits at at the Edinburgh Festival a few years ago with Arthur Smith. Ah, oh, yes. I can't, I'm trying to remember that. It was a group yeah. of us. All, all roughly... Of, yeah, Arnold. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Excellent. All moaning and whinging. Yeah. And then, because we all we knew were people, you know, like the first few shows the Joeys did, Ben Elson did the warm-up. Yeah. And he was fantastic. We knew, actually. <laughs> he yeah. Go far. But it is... But, I mean, uh, not that you're bitter and resentful, but no. it's like... It's exactly the same in the world of chess, where, oh, oddly really? enough, people... People get better or work or not or stay the same, and you never know which is going to happen. Yeah. So you often get people, you know, you get a famous grandmaster, or relatively famous, yeah. not that many famous grandmasters in the high street, as you might say. Yes, <laughs> but a, a famous grandmaster, and you'll hear someone who's maybe just an international master or not even a master, will say, "Yeah, I remember I played him in the uh, under 15s. I, well, right. you know, absolutely. Oh, I see. Murdered him." <laughs> As if to say, I, I'm now, I'm still yeah. better than him. Yeah. You know, no. it doesn't happen not like that. Quite. I'm no. not saying that's like you. No, no. But but I mean, it's much more subjective, but yes. of course it's hard not to be annoyed when you think, hang <laughs> yeah. on, I remember they were a 
different little name it is. Well, you've yeah. had a wonderful renaissance I've with Red a, Dwarf. I mean, there's this, which is a huge success, yeah. and, and a cult <laughs> presence, which is always good. But the um, the the, the, that the was a big surprise. Back, that was fabulous. Yeah. Did, you, did you see it? I did, and I, I mean, I was I was away, so I had to wait till I got back. Right. Uh, I was filming abroad. I thought it right. went really well, and it was great to see you all there. It was battered and uh, yeah. bruised in some cases. I mean, Craig, Craig's been through. A, He's been through a oh. couple of little incidents. Yeah, I remember time. his um, when he was with was it Kathy Tyson. Was yes, that her name? yeah, and, uh, and, and uh, yeah, I mean, I, well, their son is now twenty-two. Shut up. Yeah, and and Good and God. and look, is a Craig's double, except he's about six foot two. Oh, he's wow. a big tall man. And he's got now has two younger daughters who are uh, gorgeous. Oh, uh, thank you. oh, good. I haven't seen Craig so long. Is he happy and yeah, and he's and much sorted, yeah, though? hugely, yeah. hugely after the last yeah, debacle. That was no, he's fantastic. I mean, he's such an extraordinary man. He is, isn't he? Yeah, he really. Is. I think. I mean, it's very unfortunate. That often the public perception of him is of a sort of yeah, I think he's well, a I mean, it's a side of his character. I mean, you know, yeah, yeah. especially <laughs> when under the influence of whatever, yes, whatever. But he's yeah. been a, a trim, really, you know. Yeah, like soul buddy to me. He's been yeah. really good because I do go a bit wobbly. Yeah. You don't. I mean, I don't. I don't suffer because I don't even know what's going on. Well, you're in your makeup all yeah, the time. I mean, it is actually weird. Know. Yeah, it is. Quite it's distressing. not just makeup. No, it's, there's, it's, a, it's, there's an actor called Richard Brain, which is an unfortunate enough name to be called Dick Brain, but he is. <laughs> that is his name, and he used to do. He used to be in Jesus Most a wonderful fellow, really right. good actor, very charming. And he told a, a story to me once about when he did a commercial and he, he was wrapped as a, I think it was for Lockheed's or something right. like that, and he was wrapped up as a mummy. Oh yeah. Completely wrapped up. Yeah. And mm. two bizarre things happened. One of them was at about halfway through the morning, there was a slight sort of weird noises and things. He couldn't see, he was right. literally wrapped oh, you're up. Kidding. Uh, and he could oh. just sort of like, oh. sort of move from side to side. And uh, he said, what's going on? They said, well, uh, and someone started shouting in his ear and said, I'm afraid the director he goes, mm. <laughs> has just died. <laughs> the director had a heart attack and died on set. No, no. And he said, but we've got to carry on. So, um, you know, so someone from the, you know, the agency or whatever yeah. just carried on directing it. And wow. it was all, so, I mean, there was a kind of pause uh, and he was given a straw to put through so he could. So he could oh. But then halfway through the afternoon, he said, I'm sorry, I've got to pee. Wow. And they went, well, we're really behind. I'd, okay. Um, Josh will take you in or whatever. Who knows? Who? Anyway, so he's being led into the gents. Yeah. And a, a small square is opened in his. And his, his old man is pulled out. And he's had a pee and it's tucked back in again oh. and sewn up. And of course, at the end of the shooting, he's unwound and everyone's gone. He has no idea to this day who, who, did, who did it. Wow. <laughs> Somewhere, there's somebody who knows they did this. Yes. Wow. And. And I got off lightly then in that case. Yeah, Goodness me. It is odd. That's never had to happen to you. But Not, how no. do you um, I mean well now I've been now my new no, it's very important. My seat is my new suit has a zip, which is the first and so I can actually go, which was a great relief because I used to have to be unbolted and yes, my right. non attachment had to be removed. <laughs> Took quite some time. So you had to warn them well in advance. Yeah. After this scene I have got you know, right. to do it. Right. Again. It so, must be very disorienting, I think. I mean you get used to it because yeah. it isn't that terrible, you know, I can see and hear. Yeah. You know, it's not like this guy, rap. No, I mean, that would be, I mean, having the thing made is the most challenging part of it. I don't know if you ever had that mold done. I have, yeah. It, you know, that's fairly, I found that got harder as the years passed. I didn't mind it to start with, but it, it did definitely, you mm. know, that is quite disturbing when you're it, completely it is, yeah. separated from the world. And I do, I mean, those people who specialize in, I, I met the guy who plays the monster in Pan's Labyrinth. Right. At a party in America once. Very nice chap. And he d specializes in being in these suits. A bit like Andy Serkis. I mean, I, Andy right. Serkis has now yeah. shown the world what a brilliant oh, actor he is. Stunning. He has no need to be in um, no. Gollum suits or no. whatever. I mean, he's a fabulous straight actor, I mean, as it were. I mean, but uh, some of the physical stuff he's done yeah. has been astonishing. He was in a play that I wrote. Really? I'm very proud to say, yes, oh. that was on at the Hampstead Theatre that got. You can't even say massacred by critics. It got macheted into the ditch. It was, oh, it was very, very heartbreaking. Nicholas time. Dion was cruel. I don't know if he. I can't remember who it was. There was one particular guy that. Look at what's oh, in front of us. Oh, there's a Tesla. Look at that. Wow. How could that have happened? And it can't get on. You can't get it on camera. No, it's on pointing. this camera. Oh, it is. Yeah, yeah it is. We're behind a Tesla. Oh. I've just been driving them in the States and last week. What did you reckon? Oh, I've driven mine. Oh, I mean, if only I was trying to get one for today. Really? And I couldn't. That's probably it. Oh, that's <laughs> you and you really enjoyed it. Oh, they are. Stunning. They are wicked. 
wicked, stunning cars. They are just... It's, it's very exciting, isn't it? Yeah. They, they seem to be doing well. And I'll, I'll um, follow it. Doesn't matter where... Yeah, sorry, I don't do care it. where you're going. We're following <laughs> no, the Tesla. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm, I'm so pleased that <laughs> that his name is memorialised. Yes, one of the yes. truly great men of know, of science. Yeah. And uh, he's re in recent years had a car named after him and been played by David Bowie on screen. You don't get better than that. That's right. Of course he was. And, yes, um, I forgot about that. Yeah, uh, in the Prestige. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. But no, I was in the Tesla Works last week and I saw the S Class, which is the one. Right. We're waiting for. Yeah. What that, sort of price will that be? Uh, half the price. Yeah, of I was going to say it's, it's about. It's, it'll be about. 35, 40,000, which is still it. It's expensive, it's, but it's not. It's, yeah, it's within the Audi BMW range. Exactly, and it's very, it's, it's very similar to a 7 Series Beamer in size. Big, big, chunky, wow. big, hefty saloon car with the most. You imagine it's absolute uber nerds that have designed it. So the, the screen, there's no. No standard it's dashboard. It's a huge or... 17 inch touch screen oh. down here. It's, and that, oh. that does all the controls, the sat nav, all yeah. everything. Oh, it's oh, hugely Robert, interconnected. Uh, yeah. Oh, you, you, <laughs> oh, you can order them now, but they're not going to come necessary. through. Look, there's people taking pictures of the Tesla. Yeah. Yeah. Well, obviously those the the, the, the petrol heads and the I mean yeah. you call them Jezza heads. Really. Jezza heads. Um, yeah. They would they would be very different. There are very... plenty of people, of course, who well, no, do, yeah. who have attacked me simply because Jeremy's been on quite a few QIs. Right. They say how can you have someone like a fascist and oh uh, really? You know, wow. And I you know I mean oh, I actually like fascist. Jeremy. He's yeah. not a fascist. He does say things that are. I suppose you could argue quite successfully if you wanted to that it's a bit tiresome to, constantly to think that you are <laughs> kicking political correctness yes. in the teeth yeah. and that. Yeah. But. Uh, you know, he's just the point is, if he weren't funny and clever, it yeah, would be crap. Exactly, but he, he is funny and clever. It's a bit like A.A. Gill or someone. You yes, just, he just writes too well oh. for one to dismiss him. I mean, yeah. his 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 A.A. Gill's destruction of Stow on the Wold is the ugliest town in Britain, <laughs> yes. which I live very near. And was there's a lot of points to that. Yeah, because, I was at prep school in Gloucestershire. Are we? Enough. Yeah, and Yulee. Do you know Yulee? It's near Dursley. It's not oh, I know Dursley. Not so much right. It's about six miles south of Stroud. Oh, Stroud between yeah. Stroud and Dursley. Yeah. Oh, that's a beautiful area. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I have lots of godchildren and nephews and things. And the, 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 the one quality I've come to realize is that, is that almost overmasters any other is curiosity. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I don't really mind whether a godchild of mine knows Latin and Greek. Yes. I mean, you know, that's not the point. But it's dull in curiosity yes, that is to would me the really heartbreaking saddest thing. thing. Yeah. People are just not curious about I would love him to sl be slightly more curious about the experience of, say, picking up a wet towel after he's had a shower, <laughs> you know, on a very basic level. <laughs> Explore that curiosity. Just see what it feels like to do it once. Yeah. He <laughs> rightly set a, a high price on love, but uh, there's, a, yeah. there's a line in a, 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 a not particularly remarkable Western movie called Shenandoah. Have you ever seen Shenandoah? Which I don't there's Doug McClure like and James Stewart, a quite old silver head. James yes, Stewart. yes, right. He I plays know. a father, and the family get involved with the Civil War, despite his sort of pacifism. Right. And uh, anyway, Doug McClure wants to marry his daughter, and there's a scene on him. On, he's sitting there with a green cigar uh, on, the, on the porch, on a, on a rocker. And uh, the guy says, uh, well, we'll call him Mr. Stewart, because we don't know what the character's name is. He says, Mr. Stewart, I'd like to marry the daughter. She says, do you like her? He says, well, Jane, Jane, Mr. Stewart, I, I, I love her. So well, uh, that's not what I asked. I said, do you like her? Not the same thing at all. <laughs> and uh, I just thought, yes, that's so good. Yeah. Right. You know, love is a fabulous storm and a beautiful yeah. and warm thing. And you but need to like the person too. like them. And, and I, I think that's true of parents. That, yeah. That, Sometimes they love their children. They, they, they don't like them. They don't like each yeah. other. And, and I think it's very common. I it is. Very common. Yeah. And also, it's what you want of your children, isn't it? Yeah. I, you know, you talk to young mothers who are, you know, they, they often, I've heard young mothers say that sometimes they stop by their school gates and they look through the railings and they see their child and they, they're so relieved because he seems or she seems popular. Yes. You know, the other yeah. children are talking yeah, yeah. and laughing with yeah. them. And then other times they come, maybe, or another parent, and there's the child sitting alone on the step. Yeah. And they think, nobody likes my little yes. baby. And, and that's almost more than any other. You don't, not about how clever they are, whether yeah. they can play a musical instrument or yeah. sport, but yeah. are, they, are they like? They don't have to be the most popular child in the school. No. Just. But I did a, an episode of The Young Ones years and years ago, and there was a great line that Rick had on, and they were on the train going up to Manchester to do oh, the Universal Challenge. Oh, that's of course you did, of course yeah. you did. Right, I was just um, trying to remember which one yeah, it was. Yeah, it's Bambi, I think, yes. the name of the episode. <laughs> and uh, but I, I just, and, and they, they're, re they're revising on the train uh, uh, for <laughs> this bizarre scene. 
And Rick suddenly loses it and goes, you've done lots and lots of revision just like a girl. <laughs> and and, and I, it did amuse me. And of course, of course not having been to a, a, a mixed sex school, right. I never really had this this right. terrible in, inferiority that men secretly, boys secretly feel, though they're too proud to show it. Yes, the girls are... Girls do all that revision I mean, and they swat and they're, they're neat and yeah. they're... Okay. I was oh, going to go down go that down way, down but down I don't know if I really want to. I might you will see a man holding a little girl's yes. hand. Yes. According to and that is she story. slightly leaning away from I think she is, maybe. It's, it's a crime scene. Oh I've not seen that particular sign before. It's very... I, I did well in exams always because I cheated by having a good oh. memory. Yeah, because that's... Um, I was going to say that. You, you know, it, to remember the details of that film. Is that all an exam is supposed to be? It, yeah, is, exactly. Is, is, a, is a memory test? Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it, I don't feel any particular pride for having... for knowing... For, for, you know, having an absorbent mind, yes. it, like lavatory paper. Yeah. I mean, you could argue that the one thing exams test is is people with s superficial minds and a sort of quick, guileful, you know, glib intelligence, yes. and that that is what the world prizes more than the true, diligent, industrial, oh, yeah. honest, pe industrious, rather, in, 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 and honest people. Yeah. And that therefore exams. I'd are... like to believe you're right, but I don't know. <laughs> no, I, don't. I think the reason I failed all the, the, the amount of exams I did was because I wasn't very clever. You know, that's the, that's ah, the simple yes, truth. Yes, yes. <laughs> a good friend of mine was at the Dragon mm. in, in Oxford, and all yeah. his teachers were sort of Spitfire pilots with terrible facial yes. burns and things like that. That's right. The war, my friend were... Hugh was there, and he uh, he said something similar. Right. Those lines. Yeah, we yeah. had a my school as well. There was I remember it was a Commander Stavely and a Major Dobson. Yes. I think um, that was that we were taught by that generation, really. and 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 they, I mean, one of them taught us basically sn sn snob English. What what's called you speak, you know, you and right. non you, no, you and non you. My mum was obsessed with that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Nancy Mitford brought to, to to the world's attention yes. in a book called No Bless Oblige. No Bless Oblige. I, yeah. I had it read out yeah. to me. It's actually a man called Alan Ross who invented it, I think. Right. Was, uh, but. Um, yeah, the idea that you can tell someone's class by the words they use, yeah. so that if they say lavatory, that's more you speak, whereas yes. toilet, toilet is, is non-you, and <laughs> mirror is non-you, and looking glass or oh, glass is... Oh, that shows up. Because I would say lavatory, but I would also say mirror. Yeah, so, everyone would know, yeah. I think. And actually, I remember Debo Devonshire saying to me that her children said toilet, and, and her sons, now Duke of Devonshire, really <laughs> said so. I mean, the, you know, the whole thing's changed, let's be honest. But, but um, it's... It's, it, it, he taught us, and he not only that, but pronunciation. Right. So he said things like, um, it's, uh, some, uh, some boy said, uh, oh, well, primarily or something. And he said, right. no, 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 let's just, let's just sort this one out once and for all. I don't want any of you. I don't want to hear any of this temporarily, primarily right. nonsense. It's primarily, temporarily. <laughs> and so we're going temporarily. No, not Tem temporarily, temporarily. <laughs> God, so, and now I, of course, I, I'm afraid the and it's it's not formidable. It's formidable, right? Formidable. It's not formidable. It's not exquisite. It's exquisite, uh, and wow. and so all these things. Um, but they go in, don't they? Once they, you do, and yeah. Then, and unfortunately, if I hear temporarily or, it or sounds you know, wrong or interested instead of interested, or, or the worst, the one well, I yeah, I'd say I still yeah. nails on the blackboard for some yes. reason is um, circumstance. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, just, oh, yeah. Right. Of, uh, and it's so, not even circumstance, yeah. but circumstance. Circumstance. Well, I, say, I say it's not even. It's not right or wrong. It's I'm no. falling into the same no. trap. It's just <laughs> madness. But I think it's. I think it's vital that you, that that stuff is maintained even if it's maintained under a critique you know, that, yeah, absolutely that there right. is an input there is something in that that uh, yeah it's a it's a code it's a it's a nuance it's a it's a it's a tribal piece of tribal dress yes just happens yeah. to be verbal dress rather than yeah. anything else and other tribes are allowed their extraordinary little details that we may not understand yes um but as long as it's not used exclusively yeah. I remember Alan, yes. Alan Bennett saying what well, someone said, oh, he's a terrible snob. And Alan said, oh, you know, snobbery is quite an amiable vice. <laughs> and uh, I remember saying, what well, is snobbery amiable? He said, oh, well, I'm, I only, I mean, snobbery that looks up is quite amiable. Right. Snobbery that looks down is disgusting. Right. Of course it is. That's very interesting. But, yeah. And the person we were talking about was a snob in the looking up sense. They couldn't help name dropping names of princes and dukes and right. earls and things. But in it, which in the end is an amiable. It doesn't hurt yes. anybody. Nothing. Obviously, the snobbery that looks down and says, you little gutter sniper, or you're yes. not holding a knife right, that is unforgivable, I think. Yes. yes. Because actually, apart from anything else, it shows the person doing it is a vulgarian and absolutely without any 
class at all, yes, I might say. In the, in the good sense yeah. of Yeah. This is, I think, am I right? Is this the roundabout that Chevy Chase goes round and round and round and round and round in? in uh, yes, National, it was on the TV not National long ago. National, 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 yes. Where Mel Smith plays the disgusting bed and breakfast hotel. That's right, yeah. I, I did enjoy them. The Griswolds, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. If this camera works, this is the first. This is quite a good yes, tour it of is the, a, isn't it? We've seen a good part of London. I'm actually going up to Clock Tower in a couple of weeks. Oh, are you? In here? Yeah, um, yeah. I, I bumped into Not this. that, so the other tower, Big Ben, I mean, the, where, where Big Ben is. Where Big Ben is, yeah. exactly. Because that is the, I talked to Justin about that, that is the glorious thing about QI, is that, is those nuggets of, his, you know, information. I mean, I'm particularly yeah. keen on that when you do historical ones. I mean, those are the ones. The, the, I, the, I, yeah. I mean, the, the, you know, the I, misconceptions that we have about you know, when you come up with a thing, I go, oh, blimey, I never knew that. <laughs> That's yes. brilliant, that, which happens every All show. people think they know a thing that... Yes, that absolutely, this would be something I thought yeah. I knew about. People think, yeah. okay, because it's not Big Ben, it's, no, it's not St. Stephen's Tower, isn't it? Right. No, it's not. Is it it's not? not it's not St. Stephen's It's just the clock tower. I thought, it was, I thought I was going to be clever and say it. I thought exactly, it that's it. That's the awful thing about those QI things, is they second guess people's, you know, the, the one that people really think is yeah. true that actually isn't. But I filmed in the bell foundry where they made the bell. Do you oh, know, Whitechapel, is it? In Whitechapel, yes. fantastic place. Oh, it's one of the Still oldest the and greatest. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. But they're, but they're, they're it, they can't bear, the guy that tunes the bells there, yeah. can't bear listening to the because it's not sound. It's not, it's not in tune. Not sound as. No, oh, look, it? lots of MPs talking. Oh, yes, on St. <laughs> Stephen's Green. And, oh, wow. Well, obviously, now it used to be that um, assembly, I think, in Parliament Square wasn't legal, but yes. since the anti Iraq war chap has been here for so long, yeah. they've kind of broken the press. Well, I think also Mark Thomas. Yes. Media Mark Thomas does some very clever chap. stuff. Yeah. About that. You well, know it's good for. I mean, it's good for democracy to have people protesting. Yeah. And, uh, no matter. Well, I always does. hated that view that people have that you wouldn't be able to do this in in yes. Iran. You know, no. as if That's... as if exercising your right is an abuse of it. <laughs> well, the point is, that, it's like the very fact that I'm allowed to say that means I should shut up. Doesn't yeah. it? I mean, <laughs> bizarre. <laughs> that that building, the fairy tale. Houses of uh, Parliament. Yes, they are They're extraordinary, aren't just they? Just yeah. marvellous. It's just a shame what goes on within it. Yes, that's the only slight downside. I, uh, I made an ass of myself talking about politicians. I, was, I kind of probably ever did it, but I was trying to say, look, let's not. Let's look at ourselves. You yes. Know? Uh, yeah. And I, and everyone now thinks I was speaking on behalf of MPs. Right. I so have no little. I have no sympathy for them, really. Yeah. And I think I don't think they have any particular contrition. I don't think they're sorry. No. I just think that the damn nuisance that this, the whole thing's been exposed. Whatever, On the other hand, you know, I, it's, the day that dawns where I find myself even slightly agreeing with Anne Whittacombe is an unusual day. <laughs> but, um, you know, she did say, well, what kind of MPs do we want? You know, it's, yes, the, the system is, is ridiculous, but, you know, you will not get elected. Let's say you want to be the Labour or the Tory MP for, I know, some uh, constituency yeah. in Northumberland. Well, you won't get elected unless you live in the constituency. You won't get selected. No. You know, the first question they ask is, do you Where live do you in the live? constituency? Yeah. Are you going to live in the constituency? Yes, I do live. Yeah. Well, all right, you're in Northumberland and you've got to come here. Yeah. So you need to live somewhere. I mean, should they have bed and breakfast? Yes. Uh, I mean, do we do we want to humiliate them into having the cheapest possible Ramada hotel? Live in, I live mean, is that going to make dormitories. us? <laughs> is that going to make us feel better? That yeah, that's what that's we true. want our yeah. politicians and lawmakers to be. Yeah. Well, that's just crazy because we'll get crap people. Yeah. All right. All right. We've already got crap people, but they'll be even crap. <laughs> um, so you know, we have to decide whether yeah. it should be a well-paid job. Yes. It really should. Yes, You're running a country. Job. Yeah. It should be well paid enough for someone to have a place to live yeah. in London and in their constituency. Yeah. If their constituency is in London, then obviously they don't need it. Yeah. Um, but the problem, it's a bit like means testing, which was yeah. one of the enemies of the working class for a yeah. hundred years. It was yeah. the most pernicious and awful thing to... Now, we're going to start means testing our MPs so that mm. the ones who, work, who can afford it won't get a grant and the poor ones will. I yes. mean, that's... Yeah. Yeah, all right, well, that's if that's what's wanted. But yeah. But just to sort of lash out at, no, God, they're all, they've all yeah. got their pigs in the trough, yeah. it's all disgusting. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. they. I have no sympathy, really. I have very little sympathy for most of those who've done stupid things. And apart from anything else, just their, their dumbness, their PR, lack of PR savvy. Yes. To think that they could have duck islands and wisteria and yes, moats I mean, without... Yes, I The ones without, that are wrong are so, it is so <laughs> shocking me, <because, laughs> oh, for goodness <laughs> sake. Wouldn't it be great if, if the people who run our country were 
honest, intelligent, authoritative, articulate, open-minded, interested, yeah. curious, wonderful people. Well, we're never going to get them no. because anyone with those qualities is going to say, "I'm going to be near it." Yeah. Look what the press do to you. Look yeah. what the public yes. think of you. No. And then, you know, you, you you make a joke and they go, "Oh, yeah. oh, he made some joke." Yeah. That shows he's not very serious and respond. Oh yes. God, I've got well, to behave I mean, just... like a bland yeah. ass. Just so that I don't say yeah. anything that might, as a joke, offend. Yeah. So, oh, at least I'm not in Doncaster. Oh, the people of Doncaster are <laughs> few. Oh, fuck off. But isn't that, in a sense, that is the, the, the way you can get a taste for that? Oh, I didn't want to mention yeah. Twitter. But well, you is, can. Isn't it? You're we, right. We will only mention it once. But no, but I do get a sense of that. If I say me. something casually in passing yeah, that it. accidentally offends someone, yeah. and I feel awful because I don't want to offend no. anybody. But on the other hand, you know, I'm a real person, like someone in a pub, and I think of Twitter as being not like people in a pub exactly, but, you know, yeah, with sort of that. openness and friendly ability yeah. to chat can't be that bad an idea. Yeah. But uh, suddenly, and it's that sort of greasy thing people say, well, no, what I'm saying is if they, that, if they can say that, it shows a lack of judgment, does it? Bollocks show a lack of judgment. And, yeah, that's just nonsense. Yeah. In that case, Churchill had no judgment whatsoever yeah. because he could be very rude and say things about, now, uh, you know, shall we say, um, crude. Yes. Uh, but, uh, you know, this idea that therefore, if you can make a joke about the colour of someone's hair, it means you're the kind of yeah, person who can't you, be trusted to run the economy. Well, I mean, God's sake. Yeah, yeah. If you can't make any jokes, you're not the person. Yes. Oscar, you know, one of the wisest sayings I know is of someone who has no humor, a sense of humor is, is to say they have no sense of humor, and by that I mean to impugn their seriousness. You know? Right, right. It, 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 you cannot take a serious, level, honest view of the world without a sense of humor. A sense yes. of humor is part it's of what sees important. how things yeah. are, and it's no accident that people like Churchill and the best kind of people they. Their humour is not just, it's not just a little guilt on the gingerbread, it's not like a little spice to, to make us, you know, you're not, yeah. earnestness and seriousness are not the, 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 the only and necessary tools to get to the truth. Yes. I mean, it's, a truly serious person does see the humour in the world. Yeah, yeah. And, and you can always tell that with the most extraordinary, you know, the Einsteins and the, yes, and the you know, you knew that that guy, he loved a gag. He did, absolutely. <laughs> he liked having a laugh. And I, it's a thing I often quote, but I do like that Chesterton saying, angels can fly because they take themselves lightly. Right, right, yes. And um, yeah. lightness of touch and, so but the, the, that's the point, we, we'll, we just won't have politicians who are anything other than bland, yeah. pencil-pushing bureaucrats, yeah. terrified of offending the press, yeah. terrified of having guts, connection, yeah. openness, you know, a sort of ability to, 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 to think openly, yeah. you know, instead they have to close down, think, yes. then present, yeah. so that they don't make the slightest error. <laughs> yeah. And I just don't want to be ruled by people no. like that. And more importantly, the kind of people who should be in charge of the country, if in charge is the word, but who, who at least most have the right by virtue of their connectedness to the world, yeah. will be far too wise by definition ever to consider politics. Yes, yes. Um, and, Which and is I, a shame, isn't it? it because is that's what we shame. need. I mean, it is yeah. a terrible and you can blame the politicians to that for some extent. Yeah. No question that yeah. they have queered the, you know, the, the their own pitch. pitch they? yes. they've, they've mired the nest. Um, <laughs> And, and you can blame the press for the fact that the press need more now more than ever sensationalism of this yeah. nature. They need to, yeah. to th you know, basically throw all the toys out of the pram uh, yes. in one big go. Damn shame. I don't know. Do you have? Do you ever have politicians on QI? I'm trying to remember if I've seen one. Uh, no, we haven't. Really seen, no, I mean, like, like, have I, we had John Sargent's the closest we've right. come. But I don't think he counts as a politician in the least. This is very clever of you to come all the way. Well, I thought I'd just go around that little. I've got my it's little, little um, I've got my... Have you got a special card? I've got my ah. staff. It's calls me staff. I'm not staff, but... <laughs> oh, so can we go round the back into so the back? So we can, yeah, oh, if you excellent. want to. I've never driven down. I've been driven there, but not, yeah. not in my own car. Is this right? Yep, that's it. Oh. I should open the gates for you. There's, uh, we'll show the card. If you wind down the window, okay. uh, there'll be someone in there. Oh, because you can go round the back, can't Yeah, you? this yeah. could literally, I'll show you. There we go, there. Hello. Thanks. <laughs> No, this is very ex for the carpool viewers. This is a very exclusive little moment is, to go in through the gates. Well, of course, like it's like backstage at the theatre. Basically, yeah. it is the servants' quarters. It is, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's yeah. a lot more scuzzy. This is, and, this uh, is the glamorous this entrance is where to we, we the land of TV. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Full of unbelievable quantities of uh, little sort of things on wheels. Yeah, prop cage stuff. 
Because if you heard now, you might be better connected to me, because I was talking to David Mitchell about that, about BBC Television Centre and whether they're going to keep the studios and what's going to happen. Because we were some heartbroken. Know, I, I can't bear the idea that they won't. No. Now, as you say, where we did Red Dwarf and Blackadder yes. and... Yeah. Uh, and you know, did you shoot? Did you shoot the studio stuff of Blackadder? Black yeah, there, TC right. one and six. Yeah. Are the ones we used. Yeah, and it's going with Fran Laurie there, and I mean, right. so much, so much. Yeah, God, it was fun. Yeah, and when we did it, knowing that Forty Towers had been done there, and Monty yes, Python and Monty, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's mm. uh, terribly sad. It's like a piece of uh, cultural history. It heritage, is, isn't it? It's a bit of your heritage, and it's just been flogged off. There's not a lot else you could do with that building. No. And that's the real sad thing. There isn't. Do I, no, you, no, you, you, you go around the corner here and that's where my entrance is, as it were. Now, so some people have been asking me if a Prius is dangerous when it's silent, like it is now. Uh, because when people are on their... And I was going, of course it is, and you can hear it coming. No, I heard a but thing, now, I heard a thing in America. Made, there is a congressman who is... Who is trying to... Yeah, to add a, to make a, noise a synthesized a, noise of a yeah, car. Really. That is brilliant. Thank you My so much. Dear that was really good. I'm so glad that worked. <laughs> Such a pleasure. <laughs> yeah, that it does sound like one of the Waltons who's just in the middle of a section of operation that Bob and Lou. <laughs> <laughs>